Okay guys, um, sorry, but this is just another commentary and it's gonna be a quite short video. But like I said, I'm not on the lean program again, so the workout pretty much is self-improved. Self-improved? Self-improvised? So I felt like doing supersets and drop sets and just keeping the weight low, focus on the movement and the eccentric part. So I just did some seated shoulder press with medium weight, not that high at all, like 20 kg and just dropped all the time for a drop set of four sets i'm just showing a, a few angles i'm not showing the picking different weight but trust me i did drop sets and the burn in the show was pretty sick um i did a lot more exercise but i actually filmed this drop set and filmed a little race drop set which you're gonna see in a moment but yeah I, at the moment i'm pretty much enjoying the way i am making my workouts at the moment just going to the gym, um, still training like legs twice a week, chest twice a week, back twice a week, and a shoulder day, uh, arm shoulder day. So it's going up pretty well. I'm picking up deadlifts again and picking up squats, and together with the bench, everything feels quite strong. My diet, I had a diet break last week because of a wedding and my birthday, and just something that came up. I will talk about that in the next video. Um, which is gonna be a little bit better because finally I'm gonna do an edit again. I just filmed some footage for the edit that I'm gonna do tomorrow. It's a chest workout, but anyway, um, here's some little race like advice or tips if you may. If you do them, try to like act like you're watering a can. Like twist the dumbbell forward and you'll feel your rear delt, I mean your side delt, your lateral delt a lot better. Just try it out and so let in the comment box below tell me how you like it if you like it or not. Sorry, I just hit in my Desk on accident and someone was just getting dumbbells and putting dumbbells back and whatnot But it's all good. It's not my gym. So I can't blame her, right? Um, everything went quite well. I had some quite muscle soreness the next day in my shoulders and hit some legs afterwards but with it all said, these commentaries are getting kind of boring in my opinion, so I'm doing an edit the next video. Hope you're still enjoying the videos, and I will show you a little review of something that I call a, like, non-guilty treat. Okay. This thing okay. This thing is stabilizing on a monster can right now. But, it's time for this taste test. All right, maple glazed donut it smells amazing. So this is the bar. Looks good, glazed. All right, first bite ever. Mmm. Look at that inside. It's so moist, so soft. For a protein bar, you don't really taste like the whey powder in it. Mm. So good. It's so good. Oh my god. From the protein bars I tasted, if I would give 1 out of 10, this will be the 10. This is the best protein bar I've ever had. Mm. This is really, really good. So tasty. Calorie amount will be about the same as a donut normal, but it has 20 grams of protein, so so much better to fit your macros. Plus, it has 10 grams of fiber, which helps you hit your fiber goal for the day. Recommend it for sure. Number one protein bar. Though I'm not sure. 
if the salted caramel is better or not. It's a little bit less sweet. I have to try to sell it, try to sell the caramel another time after this. Maybe tomorrow or the after. And I'll give you which one is better. A solid ten compared to other protein bars. Compared to other flavors, flavors oh yeah bars. I'm not sure yet. Nice treat. Mmm. 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 It has my approval, guys. So I'm out for right now. I'm gonna edit the footage. See y'all. Probably. I don't know yet. I'll see y'all soon. Real quick, guys, I wanna thank y'all for tuning in. If you want to watch a previous video, click right there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, click right there. Both is really appreciated. So I'll see y'all the next one. Keep smiling. Later.